Now, this uh, next presenter is our featured artist who goes in and really touches spirituality. You can look around you and you can see all of her paintings and you can see how every one of them is very uh, reflective and introspective. You know, the, the subject matter is very introspective. Uh, I am just so honored to uh, be able to she invites you, you know, to turn inside, you know, really turn inside and visit your own stillness. And like I said, you can see that in her paintings. Her paintings are meant to remind us of moments of impact that touched our heart. Uh, she shares uh, throughout her life that she's been a friend, uh, providing both a quiet place to both receive and let go. Uh, Within her art, uh, she tries to capture moments of feeling and depth. And there are times when those feelings uh, transform us uh, and move us into a new level of awareness from the inside. And so it's with great pleasure that I want to introduce to you Kathy Gibson. How would you do that? <laughs> OK, are we on? Yes. All right. Um, what I had here is cover. I have to do this really quickly. And I don't speak a lot. So you can all help me uh, get grounded, OK? A little bit grounded here, because I'm like flying around the room. Um, I'll give you a little brief history. I've done healing work for about 30 years, massage, cranial sacral therapy, hypnosis, guided imagery. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I've always been an artist, and my journey's been kind of a varied one. It's been uh, up and down, just like everybody else. It's been hard at times. I've had a lot of trauma in my life, and um, alcoholism in my, in my family and uh, my son. But we've all gotten through it, and a lot of it I've worked out through my paintings. and. Uh, Boy, that brings up a lot of sadness for me when I say that. So uh, this is not a heavy piece for me. This is a breakthrough piece for me. This is uh, about doing the journey in on a labyrinth, the labyrinth of our life. And the labyrinth isn't a path that's straight. It's a path that moves us in a lot of different angles and ways. But we're all going to the center. And in that center, we can let go, let go of the past, let go of things that have harmed us. And we can come out with what we really want, who we really are. So the journey out is the morning glory, is waking up. And for me, um, I did a lot of dance, tribal Middle Eastern dancing. And we, we danced to each other. and and. We did a lot of breakthrough for that. And I taught women through dance and movement a while ago. I haven't done it now, but I, I'd like to continue doing that because we, we got intimate. And when you get intimate with yourself and with others, you, you create this, this safe place to open, to open your body, to open your life. The, the butterflies in her hair are metamorphosis. It's the ability to change. The, the totem for me is the bear. But there's so much nurturing here. The bear is strength, and it's holding and nurturing her as she does her journey. Um, most of them are about the journey and the path. The ones over there are about the path. There's two about the path. The one here um, with, the, with the lilies. OK, we're showing the path. Yeah. So the path isn't straight. There's a lot of obstacles in the way. 
Sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's just hard to get over, but there's light on the way. And here is um, the path to our inner, whatever it is for you, our inner light. This one for me is just a simplified, simplified version of the same thing. It's going down our path and seeing the light down at the end and, and holding that to us as we continue through the many stages of our lives. The one in the back is, um, it's called uh, Awakening. And that's, that's, that's about nature. It's about being, holding nature and, and emerging from it. And the dragonflies are breaking illusion. So I love symbols, and uh, there's symbols in most of my paintings. And uh, I just feel like this is an ecstatic moment for her. She's, she's really feeling nature and letting it support her as she comes into her own. Um, I am the warm-up act, so uh, this is for the next person to come up. But uh, thank you. There's some, there's some prints out there if you'd like to look at them. And I'm really honored to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah.